This is going to be a review of microfluidic tactile sensors by myself and 6-2 Bentcourt. Tactile sensors have been of interest to the medical field since the beginning of electronics. Tactile sensors are giving physicians the opportunity to provide amputees with a for force feedback mechanism. Most of these applications require a robust system that provides an extensive range of sensitivity while having a fast dynamic response without being too big or too difficult to stimulate. There are three primary force sensing modulites used in microelectric mechanical systems as force pressure transducers. Resistive sensors, piezoelectric sensors, and capacitive sensors. We're going to be looking at two main types of systems the robust system and sensitive systems. The purpose of this group was to create a flexible tactile sensor that will withstand millions of cycles under large periodic deformations. The sensor is to be used for applications such as robotic, robotic grippers, impact and contact tactile sensors. Most recent tactile sensors that can accomplish this task reliably use connection wires that have high resistivity, therefore making them unsuitable for many applications. The idea is that the flexible substrate deforms as well as the electrodes, but since they are made of liquid metal, the electrical connection is continuous. Using soft lithography microfabrication techniques, this team created a sensor that consists of multiple layers of PDMS microchannels. Filled with liquid metal alloy and air pockets that modify the mechanical and electrical properties of the sensor. The deformable liquid capacitive plates and heterogeneous PDMS air dielectric medium can be designed to tune the sensor's sensitivity range. Capacitance-based microtactile sensor arrays are capable of detecting nanometer forces. The prototype sensor shown has been proven to offer spatial re resolutions of 0.5 millimeters. This group of researchers created an artificial skin which employs extendable spiral electrodes. It is highly flexible and durable so that it can conform to more complex surfaces without damaging the skin structure and the material interconnects on the sensing array. PDMS is employed as the main structural material of the skin and the conductive polymer is used as the tactile sensor element. Also, the fabricated sensing array can be twisted up to 70% without any damage in the structure or functionality. In the robotics and prosthetics field, one of the main requirements is to have high resolution sensing with rapid time response. Some of the recent works have focused on highly sensitive and responsive comfortable artificial the main things to keep in mind during the development process are microelectronics interfaces, manufacturability, repeatability, and power consumption. Gold-based nanoparticle sensors have been proven to offer high ranges of sensitivity, robustness, and low power consumption. The goal of these researchers is to have an artificial array that will perform to the same standard as skin. This means producing a robust, reliable, multi-module, tactile feedback of forces, torques, thermal properties, mechanical properties, contact shape and location, and dynamic slip. This has been a review of microfluidic tactile sensors for biomedical and robotic applications by 6-2 Betancourt and Alexander Huff.